channel. This is Isaac Simple and Real. Kindly, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. This is the channel where we should talk, talk about issues concerning averting HIV and sexually transmitted infection in our community. And we shall say that being positive about HIV is not necessarily being HIV positive. Thank you. Let's all join hearts together to be able to empower our society to live a more positive life, a more healthy life, free from stigma, and also being responsible of our own health. Thank you. Now, in our topic today, we are going to discuss about hepatitis B infection. Basically, this is an infection that is usually caused by a partially double-stranded uh, DNA a hepatina virus that we call hepatitis B virus. Are we together up to that point? Thank you. Now, hepatitis B virus is usually transmitted uh, via body fluids. That is either sexually or non-sexually uh, via maybe vaginal secretions, uh, semen, or blood. Are we together up to that point? Thank you. Now, uh, the presentation of hepatitis B virus or hepatitis B infection usually relies uh, mainly on the interaction between the host immune system and the virus. And this usually uh, leads to a liver injury or acute liver injury and which may potentially lead to liver cirrhosis and or hepatocellular carcinoma or cancer of the liver. Are we together up to that point? Thank you. Now, what are the symptoms of someone who is suffering from hepatitis B infection? Basically, a uh, the, some of the presentation that one may present is a uh, nausea, may develop general body weakness, may easy fatigue or easy fatigability, may also develop muscle weakness. As the disease progresses, someone may develop loss of sleep or disturbed sleep patterns, may also develop coma or may go into coma, may develop fluids in the abdomen and also in your extremities or lower limbs and upper limbs or swelling of the limbs. The other one is inability to clot after a cut, a cut wound. That means uh, when you are cut maybe by a knife, uh, the, 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 clot, the clotting time is usually prolonged, or we usually call it coagulopathy. Are we together up to that point? Thank you. Other presentation that one may present with is enlarged spleen, enlarged liver, a redness of your palm, we also call it palma erythema, a yellowness of your eyes. Thank you. Now, how do we come up with a diagnosis of someone who is suffering from hepatitis B infection? The diagnosis is usually realized via uh, antigen or antibody test. You can do a uh, hepatitis B uh, surface antigen test or hepatitis B uh, virus being or, or antibody test in your body. I will get up to that point. Thank you. Now, when you have realized that you have hepatitis B virus infection, a treatment is usually initiated. And uh, treatment is not curative, but rather it is a management to lower the number of viruses in your body so that to prevent complication, as we have previously stated, like the likes of cirrhosis uh, and uh, hepatocellular carcinoma or other complications that may arise uh, with the high viral load of hepatitis B virus include uh, a glomerulonephritis and others. Thank you. Now, uh, we have antiviral agents 
that are usually are very effective in this management. Now, how do we go about prevention? Remember, prevention is better than kill. And therefore, to prevent uh, someone from getting infected of hepatitis B virus, if it's your, to begin with, we start with vaccination. Always, if you have not yet been vaccinated against hepatitis B virus, it's high time that you get vaccinated. The other thing is a checkup. If you have never been tested about it, hepatitis B virus, please go and get a checkup so that uh, if you have not, uh, if you are hepatitis B negative, you can be insulted on profit or, or, or you can be immunized against hepatitis B virus. The other thing is condom use, that is for the person who is infected to prevent yourself from infecting your sexual partner, it's always very nice to use condom while having sex. Uh, the last one is about uh, treatment and uh, treatment for those who are already infected to prevent a uh, transmission to other persons when you already have a high viremia. I will to get up to that point. Thank you. Now, this comes to the end of our discussion today. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. This is Isaac Simple and Thank you.